Hi, my name's Tom Dick. I'm a math professor and a math advisor for Texas Instruments. This short video is part of the TI in Focus AP Calculus series, and here we're going to use the TI Inspire to introduce you to the idea of slope fields. So let's get started. Let's take a look at the TI Inspire and how we can use it to plot a slope field. We we'll use as our example uh, the problem of visualizing solutions to the differential equation dy dx equals negative x over y. First of all, let's take a look at how a slope field is plotted by hand. We've set up a screen here where we have a lattice of points. These are points that have integer co coordinates, so we have a grid of points here. I have a movable point that will move around this grid to different points. Now at each one of those points, what we're doing is we're going to take the information that's given to us by the differential equation, which is essentially local slope information. So at the point 1, 3, we know that a solution curve going through that point, if it's going to satisfy the differential equation, it would have to have slope negative 1 third at that point, negative 1 over 3. And so what we've done is plot a small line segment that has slope negative one-third at that point, going through that point. If I move to a different point, like two comma two, now the slope is negative two over two, or negative one, and so now there's a line segment, small line segment, with slope negative one plotted through that point. If I move over here to the Second quadrant at negative 4, 3. Well, the opposite of negative 4 is positive 4. So 4 over 3 is the slope, and we've got a line segment of slope positive 4 thirds. If I happen to move to a point on the x-axis, the y-coordinate is 0. You'll notice that that would make us have an undefined slope, and no line segment at all is plotted there. However, if we move over to the y-axis, where the x-coordinate is 0, uh, that's perfectly legitimate slope of zero, and you can see that's reflected by a horizontal line segment. In fact, any point on the y-axis is going to have a slope of zero given by the differential equation, with the exception of the origin, where we will still have that undefined status. Okay, and that's all there is to plotting a slope field. You're really just taking the differential equation, plotting in the numerical coordinates of points, in computing a slope, and then using that information to plot a small piece of curve, a line segment, having that slope. It's really quite simple, however it's very tedious and time-consuming if you're doing it by hand, because you're doing a calculation um, of the slope at every single point in your grid, and then having to plot a small line segment. The TI Inspire has a plotter that will do this for us, and that's what we'll turn to next. Here we have a graphing screen, and we're going to use the TI Inspire to plot an entire slope field. Okay, we'll need to choose our type of graph. And over here, we usually use function graph, but now we're going to use differential equation plotter. That's where we'll find the slope field. And you can see the format here shows y1 prime, that's our derivative, and it's asking us to fill in the differential equation. Notice that the y is referred to as y1, so we'll need to pay attention to that. So I'm going to type in negative x over y1, because that's the reference. And let's try that again. And there we go. And there is a slope field uh, that's used a different, of actually a finer grid than what we had before. Uh, but you can see that when we've plotted all of these line segments together, it actually gives you a chance to visualize what the solution curves look like. And in this case, it looks like the solution curves look like uh, parts of circles. And that's how easy it is to do a slope field on the TI Inspire. For other resources like this video and others, see education.ti.com.